Let's go over to our man, Mr. Teddy Cakestad, as we do each and every Wednesday. I can't believe I, I, Wednesdays come so fast. Teddy Cakestad, what's going on, brother? Morning, guys. We've got an FOMC meeting to look forward to today. Oh, boy. I like it. I know, man. So, you know, this doll is hanging tough. I mean, the, the pounds got smoked. That looks like, it, you know, we'll see if it comes back. The, the euro didn't jump off the cliff, but let's talk about it. Okay. Well, you're right. The, uh, the pound, for all kinds of reasons, has been falling apart. Uh, we had the new uh, prime minister that was sworn in after we talked last, and it doesn't seem to uh, have phased any type of bullish uh, reaction, that's for sure. Uh, I think the, the, the key component there is that uh, we have the, the Fed meeting is coming out today. We've had the central bank marathon. It started last week with the Bank of England, the ECB, which came out with a very big remark saying that uh, last Thursday that they're waiting on the Fed, U.S. Fed today, Wednesday, to see what they do. Um, and they're ready to pull the trigger and follow suit. So they're kind of trying to force the hand of our uh, Fed to actually do something, which basically will set them in motion. Uh, we will see what happens later on this afternoon. Uh, but you're right, the euro has had pretty much just a knee-jerk reaction. It's been very sideways. And uh, I think what you really have to look at is where is dollar strength and weakness happening? Uh, your lesser majors like Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar, they've been trending lower still since we talked last. Uh, they made newer lows uh, yesterday and today. Uh, but the Australian dollar is starting to look like it wants to bounce today. So okay. Maybe precursor. You know, uh, Teddy, yesterday, uh, let me pull this up. So the Swiss franc, what was going on? I, I, it said that that they were almost thinking of getting an intervention uh, over there. They, so did they think that was getting too strong? Uh, I, I think that that might be some of the reasons why they were talking about that. Um, I, think the, I think the intervention more has to do with uh, how the ECB has changed their uh, tone. I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But interesting, you bring up the Swiss franc. The Swiss franc chart looks a lot like the Japanese yen chart does right now. Yeah. Especially how they just recently got rejected on new move highs. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, man, there's a, there's there's so many moving parts, man. And I guess, you know, the the dollar. I mean, it, it it's not over. It's it's high in the continuous contract, but it's just edging right there, man. So it's going to be like, okay, which way do you want to go? And I guess it's going to have to do with which way really the pound and euro is going, right? It's, right. Yeah. right, well, you know what? Maybe not though, because uh, FOMC meeting, we know that let's say whether they do a quarter point or a half point, half point's probably not gonna happen. Quarter point is factored into the marketplace no matter what, sometime in the next three months. Yep. So I don't think we're gonna get any big reaction for the currencies initially. Okay. They're gonna be looking to see if the ECB starts to do something. Um, now the BOJ came out yesterday they don't care what the Fed does today. They don't. Yeah. They, they don't care at all. They made a really staunch um, point that unless there's an economic uh, thing that really hits Japan, they're, they're not doing a thing with their bank whatsoever. You know what's intriguing, man? I mean, I can see the Bank of Japan, like if, if we were at the Bank of Japan, you know, for years, folks, okay, I mean, they've been in negative rates. They probably know more about negative rates than the rest of the central banks, right? It's like, you know, because they've been there, right? Right. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. That's that's it's pretty wild, man. It really, it really is how this whole thing is shaking out. And absolutely, it, yeah. absolutely. But you look at your lesser majors like your Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar. Okay. I think the dollar index has gotten its lift over, especially the past week. Like since we talked last week, the dollar index has had a nice little rally. Yes. Where did that come from? It didn't come from the euro. You know, the pound right. may have helped to to bring that lift that the dollar index. Yeah. But it's really the falling apart of the Australian dollar and the New Zealand dollar that really led it. Because look at the yen. The yen's basically gone nowhere over that I time. Know. And so if you're watching Tiger TV, folks, I just brought up the Australian dollar. And you can see what Teddy's saying. We just went from 70 down to 68. You know, and that's, it's been a one-way route, right? It's, that's, Absolutely. Yeah. You get, you get, so you get so that's, where, that's where our strength is coming from, I think, in yes. the index. Yes, no, and that's important to understand what's inside that index and how that works. There's no doubt about that. Pretty cool, right. man. Well, right. two now, the pound, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, for the pound, uh, it's interesting with the size, sideways movement in the yen and the pound being the one major uh, currency besides the euro. What, what do you think? I think uh, with the new prime minister and stuff like that, do you think that we're gonna he's gonna 
do anything to help lift this currency, or do you think the trend is going to continue lower? Because I don't see I don't see a bounce in sight, really. Yeah, no, I this pound can go test that. It looks like 118. I mean, that's you know, it's the last time we were down there. What that was 2016, but because this is this is a hard move down, right? You know, right. you know. I mean, it's getting tired. I'd say it's getting tired on the way down. But guess what? That thing is sticking out like a sore thumb. So it's like, why not go visit your old friends from a couple of years ago first, right? You know, right. Stay a bear. <laughs> Listen, folks, every trading day, you can check out Teddy at forex-trading-unlock.com. That's forex-trading-unlock.com. Teddy, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to speaking to you next Wednesday. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Take man. care. Have a next great week. one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.